I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello, and welcome back to another week here at the Stress Mastery Podcast. I'm your host, David the Super Millennial. This week on the Stress Mastery Podcast, our topic is on building your momentum. And on today's episode with Mondays with the Super Millennial, we're going to be discussing knowing when to switch gears. Before we get started with today's episode, I would like to remind you guys that access to the Stress Mastery community is absolutely free for the first 30 days. Sign up today and get complete access to courses, evaluations, community discussions, and much more instantly. If you guys have any questions, email me at david at livingrightwithbillcourtright.com, and I'll make sure to answer any of your concerns you may have. Simply go to the website, www dot stressmastercommunity.com or use the links below. We hope to see you guys in the community very soon. Now let's begin with today's episode. With the first week of the new year in the books, I think it's a good time to take a quick moment to stop and reflect on how you're doing. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's only been a week, but listen, you guys can learn a lot about where you're headed and where your momentum is just in this first week. Many of you guys listening to the podcast started your new year back in November with us when we set our goals and geared up for the new year rolling in. This should have gave you a great running start into the new year and you would have momentum coming into this first week. If you have a strong momentum and your focus this week, you would have taken some action or set yourself up to take action on the goals you have set. Your momentum is strong. And as the month and the year progresses, it would only get stronger if you keep it up. For those of you who chose to start right on January 1st, well, this week was all about building momentum. It's about making sure that you have a plan, set proper goals, and visualize and set your intention. And of course, take action. Nothing works unless you do. For some, you took... You you took your plan, you you decided to just start running off with it with no real proper goals, no vision of what you needed to do or to achieve those goals realistically. You may have good intentions and you may have momentum, but is your momentum going in the right direction? That's the real question. Just like focus, you always have momentum, whether you know it or not. It's whether or not you're managing that momentum and using it in the right way. You can be taking actions and building habits, but the real question, once again, are you going in the right way? Many of us, especially in the beginning, do what we think is right based off of what we were taught, programmed to do. We're doing what we think is best. Now, even though you may be doing this for all the right reasons, are these actions bringing you closer to your goal or going in the opposite direction. One of my favorite quotes is, good thing is you made it a long way. The bad part is you went the wrong way. Just because you're doing something every single day and taking certain actions does not mean you're going the right direction. I know that's a hard pill to swallow because you're doing so much work and you feel like you're accomplishing things, but it's the truth. You must have awareness to know when something you are doing isn't benefiting you and you need to switch gears and shift your momentum. It is important to frequently slow down and reflect on yourself and your actions to see if you're wasting your time and energy on something that does not serve you. Doing this, uh, doing things that do not serve you or don't further your progress to your goals still builds momentum, just not the way you want it. If you're wasting your time on things that do not serve you, you're wasting energy and slowing your momentum down because you're wasting energy that you could be using to try to build your goals and achieve those goals. The less energy you waste on things that do not serve you, the more that you can put towards the things that do serve you towards your goal and towards kind of the resolutions or the things that you uh, plan to achieve this year. Um, With all that being said, you need to learn when you should press the brakes and switch gears and change momentum completely 
I know that's a hard, hard thing to think about is stopping and taking, you know, all the work that you did and kind of restarting fresh. So many people have expectations and are fixated on doing things a certain way that sometimes they don't realize that they need to stop what they're doing and change gears. We are not perfect. We all know this. We're going to make mistakes. And sometimes those mistakes happen when we're setting our goals and we're setting um, our actions. It happens. All of us will make mistakes. Um, I've made plenty of plans before where I thought, based off of what I knew, that doing a certain thing or taking a certain action or, you know, that it was going to lead me towards my goal. Now, that wasn't the case. And a lot of times it isn't the case, but you do what's best to start you off with. And you do it as you filter out, as we do with um, higher goal setting, is that we set proper goals. We vet them through, we filter them out, and we try to do it based off of very specific things. That's one thing that we kind of need to understand is that, yes, we're going to make mistakes. Sometimes we don't. But if we do, sometimes it isn't a planning and it's not your fault. You just have to have the awareness to recognize that simply you need to pump the brakes, regroup, replan, and change gears. I understand doing this may be hard. And you know what? You might be moving in the right direction or you might not be. The big thing to understand is how, why are you? What are you doing? Are you going in the right direction? Are you not? Are you kind of at a standstill? Are you wasting energy? You need to have this awareness. You need to understand it. Like I said, it is hard if you don't know, but there are ways to figure out if you're moving in the right direction with your momentum. But of course, at the end of all my episodes, here are my top four questions to ask yourself to find out if you need to switch gears or stay on track. The first one to ask yourself is, does this serve me? And when I say this, this means anything. Uh, your actions, the time of day you're waking up, the time of day you're going to sleep, the certain things that you're doing with your health, um, relationships, the whole nine, everything. Does this serve me? If it serves you, great. Bet it down. Ask yourself the questions. Does this serve me? Yes. How? Ask yourself how. Go through the process. Go through it. If you're questioning any part of your action, and I would do it, especially in the beginning, is to, to ask yourself this on all parts of your goals for 2021. Does this serve me? Does this serve me? Does this serve me? And go through all of your actions and all of your plans and everything there. Make sure that it serves you. This is a part of the wasting the energy that we were talking about. And you want to make sure that you're you're using all of your energy towards your goal and not wasting it going in the opposite direction when you need to switch gears and kind of bring things back. The second thing that I have is, is what I'm doing still aligning with my goals, values, and purpose. Now, this is a big one because if you guys are doing things that aren't aligning with your goals, your values, and your purpose, you will fail, period. This needs to align with your goals, values, and purposes, especially if you want to do this long term. A lot of times that, um, you know, people my age, a little younger, um, and even a little older, uh, do things for what they think will kind of be good for them i need the money i need the fame cars the house the girlfriend whatever the case is that they want these certain things now does this align with your goals values purpose yes or no and it should be a simple question you look through the same thing you ask yourself through all these things does this align with my goals does this align with my values does this align with my purpose you go through all these things and you filter it out and you make sure and any of the things that are questionable you sit with you journal with you ask yourself questions you make sure that it aligns maybe it takes some tweaking maybe it needs to be discarded the entire thing but you need to make sure that it aligns and as you progress certain things are going to change you know is if you're looking to make a certain amount of money this year but you want to make it you know doing something positive for the community or you know something that's filling and you kind of sell out and you get like a, a corporate job or something that you don't want to do. Does this align with your goals? Maybe you're maybe making the money, but does this align with your values and your purpose? 
Probably not. That's where you need to sit and make sure you sit with yourself and figure it out. The third thing that I have to ask yourself is, am I wasting energy on things that haven't worked or won't work to get me closer to my goals? Now, this is very important. This could be anything. This could be um, watching too much TV at night, spending too much time on your phone, um, answering like comments or, you know, doing certain things that busy work or just wasting energy to keep yourself busy. Or are you doing things that are actually progressing your progress, you know, forward towards your goals or your your um, personal and spiritual development, whatever the case is that you're trying to achieve? Are you wasting energy on things that aren't getting you closer to that? Got to ask yourself that And if it is or if you feel like you don't have enough time or you don't have enough energy, this is where you ask yourself that question. I promise you, if you really sit down and you do an audit of your time, you'll find out that you have a lot more time for certain things that you want to do. If you sacrifice things that are for just leisure or pleasure, I promise you, there's always more time somewhere. You just have to make the best use of it and really, really, you know, put that towards your momentum. And the fourth thing that I have to ask yourself is, is this the best course of action I should be taking? A lot of us, when we set our goals, set our goals way too high or way too low. You have to be honest with yourself and make sure that you can achieve, you know, these certain things. I'm not saying that don't over, you know, sell it and really want to, you know, make a big goal or anything. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if you need $200,000 to invest in a company, you got $1,000 in your bank account. I understand that there's certain things that you may need to switch your focus to so you can have the best course of action so you can get to certain goals, but you need to be able to look at what is your, your current state and what are you doing? Are these things that you should be doing right now? People are looking to book talks and I don't want to be a personal development, you know, a, a speaker. I want to book talks and events. It's not going to happen. That's not the best course right now, especially with the day and age of COVID and all this stuff. Is that the best course? No. I want to do webinars. I want to make sure I can still contact, you know, talk to people. That's a better course. That is the way that you need to look at things. What is the course of action that you're taking? Is there a better course? If not, if that's the course that you need to take, then take it. If there is a better course or something that will get you closer to that goal, then you may need to reevaluate and go towards that. I think these are very strong questions. If you ask yourself these questions and filter and vet out your goals and your actions, I think this will help you build momentum in the right way. I I, I know this will help you change gears and switch momentum from going the wrong way towards the right way, and it will really help you guys achieve those goals and keep on running through this year with nothing but positivity and just higher energy throughout the whole year. So the four questions that I have, to ask yourself to find out if you need to switch gears or stay on track is one, does this serve me? Two, is what I'm doing still aligning with my goals, values, and purpose? Three, am I wasting energy on things I haven't or won't get me closer to my goals? Number four, is this the best course of action I should be taking? That's it for today's show. Our mission here is to create a shift in the planet. You can join us on this mission by simply like, share, and subscribe. The links are right below the show. As always, until next time, stay inspired.